What's going on everyone? Country with Celine here and I am back for another episode and joining me today is the one and only Sean Austin. I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to nice to be talking about things that are fun. Yes. Well, talking about things that are fun, obviously the tour, but even more important than that, your baby boy Easton was born over just a month ago. How has yeah. life been like for you and Katie? Yeah, we just passed uh, six weeks on Monday. Um, but it's, yeah, we got hit by an absolute truck on the first week. It <laughs> was, uh, it was great, but holy, what a, what a, from from him showing up to getting used to things in the, that first seven days was uh, was something you know it's it's um, I, I you know, parents talk about it all the time and you hear everyone but there's a lot of things that they just don't talk about and I think they don't want to scare us away there's nothing bad but it's quite a it's quite an undertaking and um, there's been lots of this and yes this is just coffee this is not what everyone thinks I would put in my cup um, <laughs> at all times but. Um, it's been awesome. He's, uh, he's a happy, funny little guy and, um, yeah, it's just gonna make leaving a little bit harder, but, um, but yeah, gotta go make the money. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going to be leaving soon. You'll be going on the road for a couple of months too. So how does Katie feeling about that? Is she ready to handle just the baby on her own? I think so. I think she'll be just fine. Realistically, it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, the first night or first couple nights might be a little bit, um, tougher yeah but uh but she's she's a champ she'll be she'll be all set for it and you know when I come back I'll be doing everything so and <laughs> and rightfully so she'll hand you off everything hey I did this for a couple of months now it's your turn yeah yeah I'll send her you know spa weekend or something just get away hang out because I know you know who would have thought that going on tour gets you more sleep normally it's the other way around but it's I, th this time I'm going to be uh, using the bugs a lot. How early has Easton been getting up? Like early, like 4 a.m. in the morning? Because I see, yeah, it, obviously I don't have a kid yet. So, but I see like, I hear from other parents and I watch TV and stuff. Yeah. The first couple of weeks, it's, you know, every two to three hours. Um, and then you're up for about an hour and then hopefully back to sleep for another two or three hours. Now we're at a stretch where it's, you know, the first chunk, we get about four and a half hours and then three-ish after that. So it's getting to a place where, you know, I, I'm kind of hoping that by the time, uh, you know, we're mid-tour that Katie's getting at least six hours uh, on the first run. So it's, you know, it's just a, it's it's a getting used to it. And um, it's one of those things that it, it doesn't feel like a, a chore or a job, but no, it's, uh, yeah, it's been fun. Of course, it's not going to feel like a chore or a job. That's your no. baby. And the thing is, is, you have to, like, this moment is only going to be here for a short period of time. Soon enough. It's crazy. 21 years old, going out, doing this, doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's in six weeks, just seeing him go from, he was born at seven pounds. He's already about 10. Um, right. He's he's way longer than he was. It's it's wild. He's, you know, the eyes are wide open. He's looking at everything. and um it's it's yeah it's I can't imagine well, he's gonna be a different kid by the time I get home but uh but it'll be fun to, to watch him you know thank god for FaceTime yes honestly thank god for FaceTime if we didn't have that life would be so different so different uh, it's true yeah. it's true I mean through the pandemic and everything um yeah technology <laughs> seriously shout out to technology for that one um but last important question here is he going to be a Canucks fan oh yes Die hard. Die hard. I, uh, we, we've, we've already got shirts and, and onesies and, <laughs> and uh, you name it. I mean, the second uh, the second we can get him to a game, we will. Uh, but I got to find some good headphones for him. And yeah, it won't be long. That's going to be so adorable. I can't wait to see him on the big screen. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Well, and, and an Abbotsford Canucks game. And, you know, we're going to do it all. Yeah. Abbey Canucks and the Vancouver Giants. You got to come. Yep. You got to come to all the arenas. <laughs> totally.
<laughs> and now, Sean, you're going back on the road with Tyler Joe Miller and Andrew Hyatt for the country mixtape tour. So how excited are you for that? Who thought that was a good idea to put us three together? <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a blast, but we're, we're – uh, the three of us are walking chaos by ourselves, let alone, you know, all of us on the same bus, but it's, it's, we're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think, um, you know, I, I haven't had a chance to tour with Hyatt since uh, 2017 on Dallas Smith side effects tour. Um, that's where we, we became real, real close buddies. And um, TJ I've known for years now because he's just outside of my hometown. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, the debauchery is going to be through the roof. I guarantee it, but it's uh, the show's shaping up to be really cool. We're uh, we're in the middle of uh, rehearsals as we speak and it's fun. You know, it's um, I thought it was going to be a little more difficult to put this together, given that we're also we're different when it comes like different kinds of country artists, mm -hmm. but it's, it's working really well. And um, I think uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that the fans are going to have a good time at the show. Whose idea was it to put this all together? It's been bouncing around for a little bit. Um, I think ultimately it was a, uh, our agents kind of came up with the thought that um, let's do something out of the box. Let's, let's see if we can um, put something together. That's a little bit unique and, and who's the best people to do it. And again, somebody, you know, our names came up and, and thankfully they did. And it's uh, yeah. I mean, we like to call it the, you know, it's kind of, we're just playing the hits, you know, it's, it's the, the songs that uh, anybody who's been following all three of our careers, you're going to get all the way from the, the early days, our first singles to what we're doing now um, and some future stuff and a whole bunch of stuff that you, they, that fans probably don't know about us because it's, we're all writers and um, there's songs that, you know, we've been part of that uh, we've never put our voices on, but uh, they might hear for the first time. So it's, there's going to be a lot in a, in a short amount of time. It's going to be high energy and, um yeah i just can't wait for tuesday how big is the set list is there like i'm guessing it's quite a number of songs it's big yeah i mean it's i i don't actually know how many songs total but we're um it's about a two-hour show so oh, it's awesome. okay get, it's getting the full meal deal yeah and then you know as the tour progresses like the show always changes a little bit so you know i'm sure things will pop in and pop out and we'll make it unique for every city to a degree and yeah, it's it's just one of those. Uh, I mean, it's unique for me too because I've never had to build a show like this, and mm. um, they're just doing it with friends, so it's been awesome. And how is it like? How are you guys performing? Is it one at a time? Are you guys kind of all going to go on stage, or is it going to change every single night? It's a free for all. It's we're all kind of ro uh, rotating in and out. We're helping each other out on certain songs. We're doing a few different surprise things we're doing a little acoustic breakdown where you hear some songs that we've written and that, that um yeah that people might not not know that we were part of and uh yeah it's just uh it's non-stop though it's we're, i mean we're gonna be huffing by the end of this it's i'm <laughs> i'm i'm really hoping that the uh um the, the conditioning i've been getting with uh, with this little guy will help me on stage staying out late that's that's gonna help a lot for sure that's yeah i mean that's what i mean like who who would have thought jumping on a tour bus and and rolling across the country would uh provide an opportunity to get more rest but i, I will be taking advantage at least for the first week get myself back to full full battery and um and then i say this now and i probably won't happen but i'll try you try. It's okay, you'll try but what's the most exciting thing you love about going on the road and going on a tour bus it's just, it's, it's the whole experience. Um, tour bus, like a lot of people don't think that it's comfortable, um, but it's great. Um, I, at least for me, I, I can um, be on a tour bus for months on end. It's, it's a place that, uh, I don't know, that you're, it's just easy to move around. You wake up in a new city every day. Um, it's easy to keep tabs on everybody, you know, and uh, it's, it's some it's super unique you can't uh, it's tough to explain until until you do it um but i just love being on stage and being behind a mic is one of my most comfortable places so anytime i get a chance to to be on the road and, and play music I, I will always take it well it kicks off next tuesday april the 9th at the capitol ballroom in victoria bc and then you're on your way to the commodore ballroom so that's yep. gonna be exciting i'm gonna definitely come out and watch you there <laughs> One of my favorite rooms in Vancouver. I've been lucky enough to play it a few times, but 
there's so much history there and uh and yeah hometown show so how, how can you not love it yeah that's the best um and now since you were saying you guys are all really close friends we're gonna play a little game here so most likely okay. two, and you got a name drop okay <laughs> absolutely I don't know how Tyler and Andrew are going to feel about this after. Okay. First one. Most likely to be late to the show. Hyatt. Why? Absol Is it getting ready? Um, I'm getting ready. Yeah. I don't, want to, I don't want to give away too many things. Um, he's normally really good, but there's just times when, you know, either he loses track of time or he's always in a, um, a different time zone. And he, he's... <laughs> he's last to lobby call let's put it that way it's okay um with there's a saying a queen is never late everyone else is simply early so we can say a king is never late everyone's just early <laughs> or i was going to say that uh, i'll tell hyatt that celine called him a queen yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> okay next one um who's most likely to chug a beer on stage oh god me or tj Okay. And I just I just know because the two of us have done it a few times. Um Hyatt's not a beer guy. He's a he's a whiskey guy. Okay. Um I'm an everything guy. So I'll probably just yeah, let's yeah. I'm gonna make myself seem like an alcoholic if I keep keep that <laughs> no, train uh, going. So TJ or myself. Okay. Hey, it's fair. When you're at a country concert, you have to drink something. So it's fine. You gotta have some fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um how about who's most likely to crowd surf? Ooh. I don't know. I think any of us would do that. Yeah. I would I would stupidly jump in right away. Um, whether or not there was enough people, you know, I would just try <laughs> just just to say I did. Yeah. Um I haven't yet. That's that's actually on the bucket list. I should uh maybe the Commodore. We'll see. Hey. Okay. <laughs> no prom no promises, but hey. This tour seems like it would be very fitting for that to happen. So we can make it happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's uh yeah, I, <laughs> if, if the next time we talk, I've got a, a crater in my head, you know why. <laughs> Sounds good. I hope not, though. I hope not. I hope people catch you and nothing bad. Yeah, so do I. Um, who's most likely to grab McDonald's after the show? Oh, uh, I don't know for sure. I, I would imagine TJ, but Hyatt and I, without question, we um, we had a lot of McDonald's back in the day. Well, actually, we always have. We've had We've had McDonald's battles on do you cut when you order a McDonald's, is it a medium fry or a medium fries? I see you order a medium fries. He says you order a medium fry. No, medium fries. With an right, egg. correct. Thank yeah, you. Yes. Egg. I think the same thing. We had a whole debate on Instagram about that years ago, and I'm sure it'll come up again. And he's very adamant that he likes the old buns versus the new buns. I didn't really know they changed. What? <laughs> yeah, what? You know, he he pays attention to those things. So well, uh, well, that's we'll bring that up on tour. We'll uh, we'll do a bus uh, a bus segment about that. Yeah, you sh totally should. Maybe even try to get a sponsor out of it. Might as well. <laughs> He's trying to get a spam sponsorship. Why? Ask and next time you talk about uh, or talk to Hyatt. Ask him about spam. He spam is on his rider. Um, he goes as far as if he gets if if they complete the rider and they're spam, he'll craft little shot glasses out of spam, and it's it's a whole thing. It's I've I've gone mm -hmm. to. Um, I've gone to festivals where he's played like the year before or a couple days before. And I've talked to the promoters and they're going, I, I had to get him spam and a hot plate because he likes to put spam on the hot plate. It's a thing. I don't get it, but he loves it. Okay. Andrew Hyatt. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to like, I'm posting this as the clip and tossing him in here and just, oh, we're going to start a little talk on the country with Celine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> next one. Uh, who's most likely to take a selfie with the crowd? Oh, probably me. Yeah. I think I learned that from Dallas and I got into a bad habit. I love doing it. I think it's great. Um, it's got me in trouble a few times because I've had uh, I've had to dodge cell phones and I've been hit a few times by cell phones. And But I think it's awesome. I, I love doing it. Yeah. Taking a crowd selfie would be so cool to have everybody. It's just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's fun. And, and when, you know, they post them later and then they tag you in it and you, you can see who had a great time and yeah. what they did that night. It's awesome. How often do you go through um, your feed? Cause I'm sure people tag you and stuff all the time. So, like, and they DM you too. Like how often do you go and check all of that? I try to stay on top of it, on top of it as much as I can. 
Um, obviously some shows, depending on where we are, or like if we're stringing a bunch of shows together, um, it's all like, it's the best thing in the world. There's, but there's, there's so much sometimes that it's tough to keep up with, but, um, and I say, I don't, I'm not trying to say that. And I'm like, Oh yeah, everyone's posting about me. It's just, you know, it's, it's fun. And, and that's what I say. I like to take photos and, and, and see people after the show as much as I can. And, you know, if we get a chance to go to the merch stand, it's connecting with fans is the best part of this. And hearing the stories of why um, a song hit them in a certain way or, or something that they relate with. It's just, it's the reason why we do it. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I think ever since my days of playing in restaurants and bars and, you know, getting somebody sees you and they hire you to play your wedding or their wedding or something, it's, it's really special to, to be welcomed into somebody's life for any amount of time. So it's, it's cool. I love that. Um, yeah. And now last one here. Who's most likely, I feel like this is going to be you. Who's most likely to take a post-show nap? Oh, uh, I'm not a napper. Really? Yeah. If I sleep at all during the day or, or before when I'm supposed to go to bed, I'm a wreck. And I wreck sleep for the next day. Like, I just can't get rid of the fog. Um, I don't know who that would be. Okay, how about pre-game? Like, a pre pre-show nap? Pre same thing. It's It's... Yeah, if even if I got two hours of sleep, I'm staying up all day until I get a chance to be at, at regular time. It it messes me up really bad. Like today, it's you know, our Easton had a had a decent night, but he was a little bit fussy last night. So, you know, probably on three or four hours today, and but that's you know, I I feel good, and I'll keep that going until until the night. It's okay. Keep taking energy drinks. That will help you stay awake. Yeah. Well, I mean, coffee's my. I I'm the son of a cop, so I've been. Um, drinking coffee since I was probably far too young but <laughs> okay yeah. speaking of coffee then Starbucks or Tim's or do you have a different one that you like uh, I, they both have their place that's fair. I think that's the, the the political answer I I prefer I drink coffee black I think Starbucks makes a better coffee um, but Tim's obviously is I think, I, but I also like burnt coffee. Like I like the taste of burnt. Everyone's like, yeah, Starbucks is burnt and ashy and this and that. I'm like, I, I don't mind that. I kind of like bitter. And so I guess Starbucks for me, but I, I will never discriminate against any coffee. Black coffee is good for you too. I mean, with no sugar, yeah. no milk, it, it's better for you. You're supposed to drink coffee black, but it is. I hope so. It's an odd taste. <laughs> I love it. I mean, they say it's, what do they say? Good for your liver, good for circulation, probably not good for your heart and the amount that I drink. Um, probably not but, good for your teeth either because coffee stains your teeth so. yeah we uh i've had many conversations with my dentist about that and it's, <laughs> uh, i just go for more cleanings and and crest white strips are my friend oh yes 3d white strips those things yeah. are from heaven i swear they they're, they're game changing <laughs> awesome well thanks for playing that game sean but now we're going to switch gears and talk about new music so i I've yeah. been following along on your instagram you've been posting that you're going to be releasing an EP titled Words, and that single is going to be coming out. So take us through the project, take us through the song, just tell us all what we can expect. Yeah, I'm, uh, it sounds cliche. I know that every artist says that they're so excited about this new project. It's the best stuff they've ever put out and all that. I, I think genuinely that those sentiments ring really true this time around for me. Um, it's uh, It's been fun to look back now at, at uh, my past work my past songs, what they've been. Um, but going forward, this is a collection that um, I think this is where everything starts to click for me as far as really understanding who I am as an artist, um, the sound that I want to achieve, uh, confidence in, in my, my voice, um, and, and just kind of putting out the, the, the messages and the songs that I want to put out. Um, words in particular is a song that's taken me longer to get on a project than I, I, I don't really understand why it took me so long, but um, this, I was lucky enough to have this pitched a couple years ago now. Um, and it's written by, by Hardy and the FGL boys, Brian Kelly and, um, and Tyler Hubbard. And um, it's such a um, brilliantly written song because it's just, it, it simplifies everything. It boils everything down to the fact that we don't really have anything without communication and, and the way you form words and the way you use words, good or bad, um, it's it's an important thing to kind of hone that craft. And as your life goes on, you learn 
how to be better with that. And you learn your mistakes and you learn your, um, you learn how to really use words wisely. And eventually it takes you to, um, you know, the three biggest words. And, and um, yeah, it's just, I, I, I hope this one, this one struck a huge chord with me right away. Um, and it's the first time that I've ha- I've heard a song and I've been so passionate about trying to bring it to fruition and Scott Cook nailed the production as he always does. But I think this is, a, I, I think this is going to be one that I hope people really click with and, and, and hear and, and can uh, put their heart into, to some degree. Um, Cause it's, it's a special one, I think. And, um, and the whole, the rest of the project is there's different things. There's songs that are the, you know, the quote unquote Sean Austin sound for anybody that's been following me for a while, but there's things that are outside of the box and stuff that I'm, I think is a little bit disruptive and envelope pushing for me. And um, it's a place that I will continue to venture into, but um, I know it's hard to, I know I'm being kind of cryptic because it's like, well, nobody's heard that what I'm talking about yet, but hopefully everyone listens and understands what I'm saying when the time comes. Cause it's, I'm excited for it. Do you know exactly when the EP or have a, a month or something in mind as to when you think it's going to be released? The whole thing? Yeah. The whole thing. Thursday night at midnight. Oh, Thursday night. Everything. It's all it's all New Music Friday would be the whole project. So it's all six songs. Oh yeah. wow. Okay, so yeah, we did sorry, go on. I was gonna say we did it a little differently. We didn't do the pre save, we didn't do too much uh too much um lead up. We just wanted it to be a little more uh organic. And um I'm just hoping that, you know, when people listen to words and then they get the whole rest of the project behind it, um they'll see the the differences and the the you know I've, you've heard me say this before I'm a mutt when it comes to music so there's a lot of different influences and I think um, I hope there's something that everyone can dig their teeth into a little bit differently than my past work. I love how it's all going to be released right away because as a listener, sometimes when I hear a song on, on Instagram or TikTok and it's like it's a song that doesn't get released until like months and it's like I just want it now please release it now and I feel like lots of people have even though it's, it's been a snippet have resonated with that song words it's a really good song and it's a really good meaning behind that song so yeah I think as soon as your ep is completely out people are going to be streaming and downloading it right away yeah and that's the hope like i get the strategies of um slowly dripping out songs for a project and it all makes sense and we've done it before um but this time around we're like well just here you go like here's here's what we've been working on um and it's kind of fun for me too because it, it allows it opens up some more doors to be a little bit quicker releasing music. So, um, you know, we're going to try to do more before the end of the year um, and just really keep that process going and just build the catalog um, as big as we can with uh, as, as great a song as we, as we can. Now, to keep the suspense going just a little bit more here, because I'm going to post everything before it comes yeah. out. Um, what's one song on there other than words that you can't wait for people to listen to? All the money. It's, it's the first track on the EP. Um, this is a very different sound sonically than I've ever done. Um, and I think it's going to be, I think it'll separate me a little bit. I think it's going to put me in a place that's just different than than what I've done before and hopefully a play a lane that, that I can really um, take advantage of because it's something that I, I it's it's a sound that I I love it's this country with a little bit of rock and but not overly um, pushing the rock side like that's a track that I, I had I thought it wasn't going to be too envelope pushing that might have been a single I'd love it to be a single at some point but I, or I want it to get its spotlight somehow, but I think it's going to have to happen organically. And I think it's going to have to be from the fan. If they want it, they'll get more and uh, we'll see what happens. But that's a track that uh, I think is going to be cool. Well, if they want it, you'll definitely know because they'll be commenting on every single post of yours and bugging you to do that. So I'm excited to hear the rest of the project and I'm sure everyone else is excited to hear it as well. And your tour starting April the 9th and it goes all the way through till May. So exciting. And again, congratulations with Easton and Katie. That's so beautiful. You guys are raising a family now and it's I love that for you. And thanks so much again uh, for chatting with me, Sean. 
thank you so much and uh, we'll see you on the 10th. Yes. Yes, you will. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs>